So today we're going to be uh, taking our chickens and try to move them out here to the barn to their new coop. So we've kept them locked in the coop today. So we're going to try to hang some feeders, get the water out here, maybe um, put the bedding, nesting, all stuff in there, and then try to wrestle some chickens or herd some chickens. That'll be interesting. Probably have to get out the fishing net. See how that goes. But that's the plan for today. Move the chickens from the old coop into this new coop. So we're gonna go inside of the chicken coop now. We're gonna pick up the feeders and waters that they have. And then out here, we've got these galvanized trash cans. That's where we're storing all their feed. So we've gotta get all their feed moved as well and see if we can get all this relocated to the new chicken coop before we ever start trying to, to actually gather up the chicken. Hello chickens. Guess what? <laughs> yeah, it's moving day. We're gonna close this coop up. Okay. You guys can't get in there. <laughs> Sammy is caught. His feathers are in there a little bit. You guys are all... We're going for the big mean ones. It's okay. Oh. Hold on, lady. Hold on, Missy. There you go. Two big ones in. I think this is another That's big one. Huh? It's a baby. It's got furry feet. Oh. Dang it. I thought it was this one. <laughs> She's pulling her own foot. Okay. That one doesn't have furry feet. Oh, where are you going to put him? In here. Okay. No, not for all of them. Boy, the little ones are way easier to catch. I know. Do another little one? Okay. Hello, Polish. Be quiet. It's okay. Oh, hey. This little Polish guy is just about as dumb as it gets. No wonder they're rare. <laughs> we'll grab you a bigger one. Okay. There you go. 
it just it won't take but a second <laughs> here you go if i get him in this corner it's a little easier <laughs> um americana is on my list You're gonna stay still okay stay still I do not want to hurt you just want to move you oh. <coughs> she's yeah she's almost sounds like she's saying help last box of chickens No chickens were injured in the making of this video. They might be, yeah, one escaped. They might be a, a little bit mad. All right. So we should have, we're hoping to have 22 chickens in here. One. One escaped, and hopefully we will, when she goes back in the coop later, we'll catch her. So, she should go in there this evening. We should be able to catch her, no problem. Looks like they're trying out the roost. All right, so I've got two eggs. Are you wanting me to put these? Put one is all I count. Okay. Let me get my flashlight out. All right, count them again. One, two, three, four, one, twenty-two. Okay, twenty-two. So twenty-two chickens. So twenty-three chick. Third chicken has escaped. Yeah. So like I was saying, I got the eggs. Did you want me to put that in the nest box? Yeah. Like in different nest boxes. Yeah. Or? Here you go. I'll let you. Yeah. One in here and we'll put one. Do you think that'll four. maybe help them know where to go? So, anyway, so we just got to get one more water bucket in here, and then we're good to go. We'll catch one of the chickens tonight and get her in here, and that should be it. So, this is, we're afraid since this is so close to their actual coop that they've lived in, if we free range them, they'll end up at the other coop wanting to go into there. So, we may actually need to lock them in here for quite a bit longer this time around. We'll just have to... Wait and see how that goes, but uh, I think if we end up free ranging them in a couple days, they'll end up at the other coop trying to sleep in there at night. So they'll somehow escape the barnyard and get to the other coop. So. Yeah, I'll throw them some bird seed. So they have some scratch for in here. Mm -hmm. Although they like the little seeds off the straw. Yeah, they'll scratch through the straw and throw some stuff to them. I'm sure they'll find some bugs. Alrighty. They're already scratching through this straw. So this is what we had on hand for bedding or whatever is a, we had a bale of straw. So that's what we're using. Uh, we've used wood chips in the past. We, we end up with wood chips uh, again. We may use those again, but right now we're just gonna use what we got, which is straw. So how'd that go? What do you think? I think it went good. Oh, no two big problems. Just lost the buff. So yeah. she'll, we'll get her back. It's a bit darker in here, so they may not lay as much. Oh, uh, well, I think if when we're free ranging them, they're gonna run around. I don't think yeah. they're being darker in here. Is it gonna matter? Well, anyway, we got all the chickens moved to the new coop, so. Everything's in the barn now, so it's going to be way easier for my wife to be able to take care of her animals. She 
actually takes care of the animals probably at least four days of the week. I kind of do it on the weekends just because I usually get up before her, but um, she's usually the main animal person because she does, I just do some feeding and watering. She normally does all the coop clean outs and all the cleaning out of the stalls. So she, she does most of this stuff and it'll be way easier in here out of the rain now. So, yeah. cause before you used to do it outside in the, in the rain and the bad weather. And so yeah, this will be much better. Yeah. So be way easier. Yeah. <laughs> That's it guys. Thanks for watching.